All right, so people ask me this all the time. They always ask, you live in a sunny area. You live in Southern California. It looks like the weather there is really good for windshield repair. It seems like it's a good place to do windshield repair because it's always nice out. And they always say, you know, I want to start a windshield repair business, but I live in a rainy area. I live in Seattle. I live in Chicago. I live in Canada. Uh, you know, the weather here isn't very nice, and I feel like this business wouldn't work really well just because of the harsh weather conditions that we have here. And I always answer it with the same exact answer, but I figured I'd make a video about this just to kind of give a lot more people uh, a better understanding about starting a windshield repair business in one of those harsher condition areas. So if you do want to start a windshield repair business and maybe you don't live in the nicest uh, uh, part of the United States or even the world for that matter, this video is going to be for you and I feel like you would get a lot of value from this. Now, I want to preface this video because my weather conditions are probably going to be different than yours. You know, we do have nicer weather year round here, although we do still get rain. We, we do still get, you know, cold weather conditions. It does get pretty cold in the mornings or later at night. It's probably not comparable to, you know, a lot of the places that some people live in, but Essentially, it does, you know, rain here. It does get wet. I have done repairs and uh, built my business throughout the winter months. So I definitely think I have a little bit of authority talking about this. So I feel like I can help you and I can give you just my best perspective on the situation. So with that said, let's go ahead and get into the video. Now, people always think that they can't start a windshield repair business in rainy weather or a place that rains all the time. And quite frankly, I personally wish that it did rain in my area a little bit more, uh, just from a business aspect of things, because a lot of times when it does rain, it loosens up the gravel on the roads. Now, I get really, really busy during the winter months or after it rains or once we get some harsher conditions because it does loosen up that gravel. The rocks kind of come up and get loose. So when people are driving down the road, they're gonna get hit by rocks. And that does keep me pretty busy. So of course, I don't wish that it rained all the time where I live, but I do kind of wish that we had a little bit more harsher conditions because it does keep me quite busy. So if you do live in an area that it rains all the time, I do think that you can actually make quite a bit of money with this business. Now, one of the biggest concerns that people have is they don't want to do repairs in the rain. And there's a few ways to go about this, right? There's, there's a few ways to think about it. You know, with me, I like to kind of just figure things out. I like to make sure that if I want to do something, I will get it done. And no matter the condition, no matter what happens, I don't want to come up with any excuses. And that's kind of what I see a lot of people come up with is they come up with the excuse of, oh, it's, it's raining. Uh, you know, I can't work. I can't go out there and make money. Or, you know, it's raining. I can't do this. But where there's a will, there's a way. So you want to make sure that if you're starting a business, no matter what business it is, that you have that willpower to get things done. You wanna make money, you wanna start a business, you wanna be successful in your business, make sure that you are you know, doing the proper things that you need to do to make sure that it gets done. Now, maybe it's not the most ideal weather, right? Maybe you're outside, it's cold, maybe it's 50 degrees outside or whatever cold is to you. 50 degrees here is pretty darn cold, so you know I might complain a little bit about that, but let's say it's 50 degrees outside, it's raining outside. Now, that doesn't mean that I'm not gonna go out and make 100 bucks on a 30 minute job. If I have the opportunity to make quite a bit of profit in a very short amount of time, it doesn't matter if it's raining outside. I don't care if it's snowing outside. I don't care if it's cold. It doesn't really matter. I wanna be able to succeed with my business. I wanna make my business work. I want to make as much money as possible. So a little bit of rain or you know, if it's a little, little cold outside, that doesn't really affect me. I wanna make sure that I'm successful and that comes before anything else. So I really think that it is kind of an excuse when you say, you know, oh, I don't know if I can start this business because it rains here all the time or it's cold or we don't have nice conditions like you have over in Southern California. It sounds like more of an excuse why you don't want to start the business or it sounds like an excuse why you just want to kind of cop out and uh, not get started in the first place. Now, that does sound a little bit harsh, I know, but that's just the way that I think about it. So I you know, challenge you to think about it that way. Let's say you do live in a rainy area and you're kind of curious on if you should start this business or not just based on the fact that it is cold or it does rain you know, start to think about those things. Do you want this business to work? Not every condition is gonna be perfect for your business, right? Not everything is gonna align perfectly for you to make money. Everything is gonna have its ups and downs. It's gonna have speed bumps. 
it's not gonna be perfect all of the time. So you really have to learn how to kind of manage that and work around those little tiny things to make sure that you are successful in your business. Now, maybe you're thinking, okay, rain is fine. You know, I can work out in the rain, but where I'm at, it snows. It snows all the time. Can I work in the snow? And quite frankly, I've never lived in the snow. I've never done repairs in the snow because it just doesn't snow here. So, you know, I probably am not the best to talk about this, but I do know a company that basically works in the snow year round. Now, I wanna give this company a shout out because they kinda helped me when I first started. They, uh, I look at them and I kinda see what they turn windshield repair into, and it kind of gives me motivation. I think they are a very, very good business to kind of go off of and just to kind of get a little bit of uh, motivation from and to see what they're doing and see see how they've become successful with the business. Uh, that business is called Regina Chip Repair. I believe I'm saying that right. Regina Chip Repair. They are actually up in Canada. And if you know, Canada actually snows all the time. And this business did not care about the snow. They figured, you know what? I see the opportunity here. I feel like I can make a lot of money with windshield repair. So I'm gonna start a windshield repair business, no matter the conditions. So they started their own business up in Regina, Canada, and they are absolutely killing it. Now, when they first started, they didn't necessarily have a bunch of money to invest into the business, right? Nobody does. Nobody wants to invest a bunch of money into a business where they're not sure if it's gonna work or not. So they were working out in those harsh conditions. It was snowing, they would work out there. Now they would just figure out different ways to be able to do these jobs in the snow. They would set up tents, they would bring heaters, they would, you know, have full gear. They would wear sweaters, wear gloves. They would figure out a way to get things done. Now, as they evolved, as they started to make money in the business, as they started to, you know, become more successful with the business, they eventually branched off and actually got their own garage to where they can actually work inside of a garage that is heated and a little bit easier and just makes the process a little bit uh, more enjoyable to do rather than, you know, sitting out in the snow. But in those beginning stages, they didn't care. They wanted to make this work, so they made it work. It doesn't matter if it was raining, it doesn't matter if it was snowing, they were going to make this work, and it ended up working out for them. And that's kind of what I wanna get out in this video is that if you want this business to work, you're not gonna come up with little excuses as to why it wouldn't work. You're going to come up with excuses as to why it will work. And use Regina Chip Repair, for example. They didn't mind that it was snowing out. They didn't care that it was snowing. They wanted to make this work and they had a vision of where they wanted their business to be and they basically just took the steps forward to get that done. Now, of course, use your discretion. If it's uh, a tornado outside or there's a hurricane or something going on like that, of course, don't work. But if a little bit of rain or a little bit of snow is gonna stop you from you know, building your own business and starting something that you want to build out and you know, be successful with, then you know maybe this business isn't for you. Maybe business in general isn't for you. So the next time you think about one of those excuses as to you know this is why I can't start a windshield repair business or this is why I can't start a business in general, you know really think about it and think of different ways to kind of work around those little issues because that's what's going to help you in business. You are going to run into these problems and you're going to have to work you know work yourself around these little tiny issues to make sure that you are successful. So. You know, when you are thinking about starting a business, think about those little tiny issues, but think of a way that you can get around them. So if you do want to start windshield repair and you are in one of those harsher areas where the climate isn't the greatest or it's not perfect out, you know, I truly think that you still can start this business. And I honestly think that you have a little bit more of an advantage when getting into this business because for one, when it rains, it loosens up the gravel, you're gonna have more customers. When it snows, it loosens up the gravel, you're probably gonna have more customers. So I kind of wish that here in Southern California, we had a little bit more of harsher conditions. That way I would be a little bit more busy, but we still you know, get them um, even with these you know, nice conditions. 80 degree weather, 70 degree weather year round. Um, there's still customers out there. There's still people out there getting rock chips. Uh, like I say all the time, if there's cars on the road, then people are gonna get, get these rock chips and you're gonna have business and you're gonna be able to make money with the business. So hopefully that helped you guys. If you are in one of these areas and you do wanna learn windshield repair, definitely let me know, send me a message, send me an email. I have a free training on the business. So if you wanna learn more about the business and just kinda of get a better understanding of exactly how I started this business and exactly how you can start this business as well, go ahead and check out my website. I'll leave a link down below and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.